Hello, Fans Farm Life. Uh, project coming up. It's going to take uh, a couple days, maybe a week, two weeks. We way I operate around here, things come up. Anyway, uh, got a, I built this box here, solar panel. I bought a couple of different things. I ended up upgrading this. This was my uh, Harbor Freight solar panel. I got a 100 amp hour battery, 1000 watt inverter, new, con new charge controller, and I got new solar panels. And uh, my idea for this was uh, it's mobile, move it around. It's really not that mobile. Uh, it, you can move it around. But uh, what I want to do is build a uh, solar generator instead of buying one. I mean, I know I can get one for, I don't know, well, you say $1,600, $1,700, but by the time you really get it, it's probably $23, $25 and mainly this is you know power power goes out i've got a freezer and a refrigerator full of beef in the barn that i don't want to go bad so in the past i haven't had a problem power's not been out that long uh but i use the generator the real generator for the house for the fridge and the freezer down there so what i want to do is be able to use the gas generator for the barn freezer and fridge so what i want to do is build an actual mobile let's turn this light on something different uh a little different mobile uh solar generator so this one it's a 50 gallon husky job box that or i mean i guess that's what it says on our job box and um what I'm going to do is uh, just testing a little subflooring on here, and I'll have uh, I'm going to get either another 100 amp hour battery to match the one that I got in the other thing out there, or get a 200 amp hour battery and just put it in here. And then I'm going to get uh, I've got some 12 volt outlets I can put on the outside of the box and put a 110 outlet on the side of the box and then this can roll this thing can roll into the house and uh, i can power the refrigerator freezer extension cords uh charge phones plug in the uh internet so we have internet um and that kind of thing so and it'll be more mobile it can still sit out and plug into the solar panels out there. I'll have some connections on the outside where it just plugs right in. And uh, so when it's not in use, I can just put it back on that platform. Which it will fit dimension wise. If it gets cold, those batteries don't charge. So if it gets cold, I can just take it off and I can put it in the garage. And I have, I'll have another hookup on here that will go right to the charger. So I can just plug the charger in and keep the batteries topped off. So anyway, this is my project, but we'll uh, we'll take the journey together. Farm life out. I got a couple of uh, one by threes here. I'm gonna build a little perimeter around the top where the pink marks are. And uh, that's what this second shelf is gonna sit on. Uh, let's put this in the corner see what happens here. We'll speed this up in post-production. Alrighty, fans, farm life. 
this one here is too low. So I'm going to raise this up and see if I'm off the mark. You probably can't see that, but you can see I'm off a little bit. Uh, these aren't going to be perfect, but if I can get the other piece of wood on there, then it doesn't really matter. But I think this one is just a little, a little low for sure. And I didn't really have to cut these like I did. I don't know what I was thinking. I had it on the back side. Um, when it goes on the front side, you know, I was thinking about it. So anyway, I got two 12 inch pieces like this. I'll put the other one over there. We'll have a little bit of gap in here, but I got the other side is full. So anyway, I'm going to get the other side on, uh, raise this side up here, raise this up a little bit and then cut a piece of wood and see uh, how it fits. So let's go over here, see if I can get that one in. side up a little bit and uh, we'll get the other piece on it's gonna kind of lined up and then uh, we'll be back come back it's gonna take a little bit of time to get another piece of wood cut all righty fans farm life so this is the top and uh, I really had another piece of new plywood that I wanted to use I probably should have used this for the bottom and the new one for the top, but uh, I didn't think about that. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna paint this, probably paint it white, uh, so it looks pretty nice. Um, so this is pretty much where I'm stopped right now until I can get uh, all the other I'm finally gonna start this solar generator uh, build. I mean, uh, got all the stuff pretty much all this plus this inverter right here it's gonna go in there somehow I haven't really figured it out yet but my first step is taking these two by fours putting them in the bottom I got a piece of velcro I bought some velcro velcroing them down into there and then I'm gonna turn this over and uh, screw them to the bottom of the of the uh, toolbox it's the only way I can figure out how to get them in to stay it's pretty good velcro I mean I took it out and I cut those two by fours down uh, by one inch because when I had uh, I've got a piece of plywood that goes on top of there like so and uh, sits in there like that and when I put the batteries in there's another piece that goes on top here. And when I put the batteries in, the posts are just barely somewhere, somewhere in here. So I just cut it down an inch, which is gonna give me a little bit more clearance because I got run of wires and everything. So, uh, and I was going to try to film all this, but I don't even know how it's gonna go together. I don't know where I got outlets that are gonna go in. I don't even know where they're gonna go in yet. I don't know how I'm gonna wire it. I got a whole bunch of other stuff. So, um, I'd seen some videos on, you know, nobody shows how they're wiring anything or for the most part. And now I see why it's uh, pretty complicated. So I'm going to go in, in uh, stages. I'll get some stuff hooked up. Then I'll film what I did, how I did it. And, uh, so it'll be a while. Like I said, I'm not even sure where everything's going to fit in here yet. Uh, the inverter that I got, I got a 2000 watt inverter. And it's bigger than I thought it was going to be down in there. So anyway, I'll come back and uh, like I said, we'll do this in stages. Farm life out. All righty, fans, farm life. That worked out perfect. I got uh, three screws. I put some washers on there just uh, so because it was probably just pulled right through if I didn't. So and they sit up just about as high as this little foot. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get some silicone put on there so it's watertight. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, uh, that worked out good. Velcro, uh, for the most part, worked. Stayed, got them locked in. So, all right, on to the next, uh, next adventure. Probably first back. mistake I made, first of many that will be happening, I uh, cut these two by fours down, right here, cut them down an inch. But there was a reason I had two by fours there, because this little shelf right here, right here, uh, I need to be above it. And this is below it. So when I put this back on, I'll be back above it. And then this piece right here will fit correctly. So I'm just going to glue these back on. And then uh, I'll screw the screw this piece down in. And that should just screw this, screw these back on. So anyway, and then I guess what I'll do is I'll just raise these up about an inch. So that'll give me a little bit more room. Because uh, I really don't need that much up here, I don't believe. But uh, anyway, that's what I got to do. And I'm running out of daylight, running out of all light in here. So arm like that.